Lindsay, folks, and welcome to another match of Domination. I'm Mad Viking. I am Dirk Mahoney. Dirk Mahoney. Tonight we got a real silly match for you. Two of our fighters will be fighting in the rain filled with nothing but cleaning utensils while they both are wearing French made outfits. Damn it! And I thought it was going to be an elegant dress type match. I promised I'd get my expensive perfume for this. Ah, my eye! Well, while uh, Dirk's busy getting rid of that skunk smell out of his eyes, we'll be talking about our first fighter, Caesar. We know, he's a bad guy that almost destroyed Domination. 8,000 year old Stone King from another planet, we all know that. Good news is, our fellow members, Beatnik and Beatboxer, are there to make sure he doesn't do anything stupid like that again. He fights with his superhuman strength and punches so hard it leaves craters on anything. Ah, the perfume stings. But boy, do I smell like an elegant gentleman and a gala full of diamonds and champagne. The second fighter for tonight is the Mighty Zubaz. This soon-to-be winner of this match is the mightiest of them all, bestowing thunderous lightning from his fingertips and chains so heavy that it would make Little John say, What? His ultimate move is the Call of the Storm. Why would you say that Zubas would win this one when the match hasn't even started yet? Matter of fact, can he win against a man taller than him and stronger than him? Of course he would. He's the Storm. Caesar's just a wimp in a maid outfit. I, I mean, look at him. He looks like Ladybeard. <laughs> Dirk, Zubas is wearing a maid outfit too. Oh. Well, he looks better than Caesar anyway. Can't wait to see him win. Someone's in denial. Now that we discussed the two, we bring you live with Finny backstage. Finny? G'day, Cobas. Finny here with you all to speak with the two fighters backstage preparing themselves for this <laughs> fancy match. Oh well there, Beepnik and Beepboxer. Glad to see the you two containing this large bloke here. When one another incident involving in a gym again, eh? Now that you got a... <laughs> Made outfit. We won't bother you with a speech since that ain't our drive. If you want to know how he feels about this, he'll be as ready as he'll ever be. As if he doesn't stop cursing us with whatever language he's speaking in. Who cares, Tyree? Doesn't matter what language he speaks in. He's ready to fight whoever that lightning man is. Does Caesar have anything to say about this? Confasso! Confasso! Fanatipatiloro! Cantipresi calhaita! Okay, thanks for those words, Beatnik and Beatboxer. Now we have Zubas. <laughs> my, my, you look pretty, you crazy yumbo. You know the rules <laughs> say that if you steal a sandwich, you have to wear a made outfit and make sandwiches for the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh it up. At least I'm not chafing in this. It's not gonna stop me from beating down that boulder. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I'm all right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you got anything to say about Caesar? <laughs> You bet I do, you laughing fish. He's not some king. He's just a punk bitch bust around by those two girls. Just based off that alone, I know I'm gonna beat him in the first round. Sure, mate. <laughs> Nothing in of this would say that to you, Mountain Dick. <laughs> Don't give up, Finny. Coming up next is the fight in Domination. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Introducing first, standing, 10 feet tall, weighing in at 500 pounds, it's the... Wait, what is he really? Oh, it's the stone wall of doom. Wait, that sounds cheesy. Can you make another... Ow! Okay, okay. Here is the Stone King, Caesar. Their opponent, standing at six feet four inches tall and weighing in at 220 pounds, it's the Thunderous Terror, Zuba. I thought the orange rabbit would come here and tell us the rules of this match. Either way, let's just keep this fight fair, shall we, Mr. Zubas? I'll kick your keister so hard, my foot's gonna leave a crater. Let's get ready to... Dominate! round has started. Zubaz got out a vacuum cleaner and used his electric powers to turn on the vacuum. He's running right after Caesar, vacuuming his face. Caesar's pushed it away easily, pushing him with one hand all the way to the other side of the ring. Zubaz came right back at him with the vacuum cleaner and smashed it right on his head. Ouch! Caesar's not taking this too lightly from that bash in his face just as Zubaz was about to hit him again. Caesar's grabbed Zubaz's neck with one hand. And lift him up in the air. Let go of my neck. As you wish. Caesar slammed Zubaz down on the ring so hard he went through the floor. He's getting back up now, but his face looks all messed up. Come on, Zubaz. You can't let this boulder beat you. Favoritism much? Caesar yanked him back up from the ring by his head just to put Zubas on a tight and painful arm lock. Zubas is just flailing around in pain until he puts his leg out in one rope to, for a rope break. Just as Caesar lets go, Zubas quickly got a broom and attacked him with a back on his chest. Caesar grabs out a feather duster before grabbing the end of Zubas' broom. Now he's dusting Zubas' guts, making him laugh so hard that he's falling on the floor. <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> Come on, Zubaz! Uh, I, I, I mean, Zubaz is down and Caesar is pinning him for the count. It's a kick out! Zubaz got himself back up after that giggle fest and swung that broom right after Caesar before Caesar grabbed that broom again and broke it into tiny pieces. Mr. Zubaz has much as I want to initiate more hilarious antics involving cleaning utensils with you, I'm starting to think that I can't take you seriously as a fighter. What did you say to me? Oh, Caesar's got the baths so mad he whipped those chains out and wrapped them around his body faster than you could say sick Nick Mondo. Speaking of him, I heard he won a championship of three fights with a broken hand and survived a huge two-story slam filled with tables and light tubes. Imagine that being on television. That would be all over the headlines. I bet. Zubaz is trying to drag Caesar with all his might, but he's not budging one bit. Caesar's just standing there shaking his head while this is all happening. I bet he wishes he can go back to doing his stone kingdom uh, thing. Look, I don't know what he does, so let's just assume he's just the king of rocks. And roll? No, just rocks. Oh, that's gotta hurt! He flung himself backwards and into a wall. And that's the first round. We'll be right back with the second round in Domination. Welcome back to the second round. What we saw so far was Zubas and Caesar having a tea party. <laughs> Just kidding. 
Uh, Zubas was trying to throw the Stone King down with a vacuum and chains. That didn't help him one bit. He did get flung into a wall at one point. Wonder how he's dealing with that injury. He's not injured. It's just a little scratch. You're sure about that? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have a huge bump on his head after pulling on that chain so hard that he flew into the wall. Uh, yeah, he's not injured. This ain't working. Huge rock guy over there is throwing off my electric groove. Gotta use whatever I can find around here to beat him. Grossman sisters, I do have to ask you one thing. Why am I in this situation finding a weak human or wearing a dress? I've seen better clothes from a tavern from Hazzy better than what I have on. If you would just ignore the Philly threads, this is just because we lended an ear for that tall tale you told. Instead of you just being a mountain where people can climb on you, you'll be a mountain where people can kneel on the ground for you. Yeah, something like that. If you can mop Zubas up, you might get what you're asking for. Freedom? I won't fall for it. I know how you like to trick evil people like me. Just go! The second round has started. Zubaz is looking around the ring, trying to find something to defend himself with. He's grabbed a bucket of water and some soap. He's swishing that soap around the water now until the bucket is filled up with suds. Now he's running over to Caesar just to dump all that water right into his face. Oh, his dress is soaked and his long red hair is drenched. The water is dripping down all over the floor. Why you a little... Zubaz just got out a towel just to snap it right at Caesar's gut. He's hopping on the ring ropes just to run around Caesar and snap the towel right at his face and back. What a sadist. Here's a little something I learned in college. Wait, did I attend college? Oh yeah, the University of Kickin' Ass. Zubaz threw the towel away and grabbed the toilet scrubber and started charging right after Caesar. Caesar pushed Zubaz away to prevent him from swinging that dirty toilet wand right at his face. Now he's got a steel wool cleaner. What in the hell? Zubaz is rubbing Caesar's face with a steel wool scrubber pad. Caesar's trying to get away from that carnage, but Zubaz won't let up. He's still scrubbing Caesar's at the face until he knelt down on the ground. I've never seen this kind of ultra-violent action like this before. Good thing Caesar isn't bleeding. Damn you, human. You may have scratched my face, but my mask is small. Still stay strong. What's with the mask? You trying to hide your ugly face? I bet you got a beak in there, don't you? Just like a chicken. Run! Caesar, want a cracker? Run! That's a parrot. Don't try to correct me, wimp. Now, feel the might of my- Oh, 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 whoa! Zubaz slipped and fell on the wet floor. Well, that happened. Caesar got out of the ring to find something underneath it. Oh, washing machine and dryer. Oh, no. Is he going to do what I think he's going to do? I hope not. Yep, he is. Zubaz just got back up, and he's using the ropes to bungee himself towards Caesar. Uh oh, it looks like he lost his footing from slipping on that water. Caesar grabs Zubaz at the last minute. I'm not so common with today's machinery, but would you care for a rinse and spin? Ah! Too cold, too fast, too cold and too fast. Ah, now it's too hot, and too fast, too hot, and too fast. What a violent beatdown! Caesar just shoved Zubas in the washing machine, then the dryer, as if he was a dirty teddy bear. Uh, no offense, Alan. Had enough, human. Ugh, sky's the limit and space is the place. Ugh. That's the second round. We'll be right back with the third round in Domination.
Welcome back to the third round. What we've seen so far is Zubaz slapping Caesar with a towel and splashing soap all over his face. And getting washed and folded. But on the flip side, he smells the fresh linen. Sheesh, Caesar. I'm starting to think it was sadistic, Mofo. I've killed people before, Miss Tyree Grossman. This is my first time maiming humans like him. Don't wring his neck out, though. If he's got a neck anyways with his fish face self. Speaking of which, isn't he supposed to be making sandwiches for that grizzly play anyways? I can hear you from all the way over here, you smack-talking hussies. Who you calling a hussy, you bootleg Gene Simmons? Caesar, beat his ass before I do. The final round has started. Zubaz pumping himself up, getting real angry. What's going on in that head of his? What's he preparing for? <gasps> no, he's going to do it. He's going to do that. What's that? It's one of the most dangerous moves in his career. He pumps himself up with all the energy he has left to muster, increasing his attacks tenfold and unleashing a hurricane of punches against his opponent. The last time that he did it, he left his opponent on the floor. Oh boy. Now Zubas just tore off the top part of his dress and is yelling like a maniac. I think he's about to turn into a rabid caveman by the end of it. I've had just about enough of you beating me down so many times, Caesar. I'm about to give you a good old case of Zubaz will pass. Kia! Punching Caesar's gun at a thousand miles per hour. Jeez, he's punched such a size of scratch tooth with, with his fist of hecatonicers, but much faster. Caesar's just standing there taking the punches. And here's one for the road. What? No! And Caesar grabs Zubaz's head before he swung again just to headbutt him. He is down. Caesar's got his foot pressing down on his head for a pin. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Caesar. Punching a rock won't save you, Sir Zubas. I had to put you out of your misery. Oh, oh, you'll pay for this, big guy. I'll hunt you down and I'll hurt you when you least expect it. I'll bring a pickaxe just to turn you into gravel. I'll get you soon. Seems like it, right? Guy would look like he eats cigarette butts in his free time. Could have gotten a better life as an ashtray than a fighter. Hmm. Let's go back home, Rosemans. That's the match for tonight, I'm Mad Viking. And I'm Dirk Mahoney. That was Domination. Stay safe, Millennium. <laughs> Dirk, what are you screaming about now? That wasn't me. Then who was that? Hello. Who's the hell screaming like a pretty girl over here? And why is that room covered in orange paint? Zubas, why are you here? Mr. Viking, I think I found what's going on. And that's not orange paint. Uh-oh. Carrot juice. He's dead! Hey Zubaz, I know this isn't exactly the best time, but can I get your autograph? What? <laughs>